Hey Pete? Yeah. All right. Uh, today we're going to demonstrate how Pete puts on his knee disarticulation double wall vacuum prosthesis. The liner on his residual limb is custom made of silicone. So <clears throat> a double wall system uh, consists of a end cap that's laminated and a seal. So he's going to put that on first. First he's going to put uh, some socks. His residual limb has decreased in size just a bit. So he's able to put some socks on and then he'll put a sheath and uh, we'll watch him don his uh, the first part of the prosthesis. Since he is a knee disarticulation, he's able to take weight on the distal end of his residual limb. However, he can't take 100% uh, weight. On top of the socket is a knee sleeve. So, air is coming out of the valve at the distal end. And then rolls his sleeve on, which will adhere to, uh, which will seal onto his liner. Okay. Then next he'll take his lap frame of his prosthesis and he will insert his uh, residual limb into the frame. And on the lateral side there is a buckle that ensures the prosthesis and the laminated cap are um, attached appropriately. Okay. So now, right now, even though he does not have vacuum, his prosthesis will not come off and he has suction. He also is wearing a Genium microprocessor knee with a nice X2 cover. All right, so now he's gonna take his vacuum pump. And he's gonna draw all the air out of it. Since he has two socks on there, it'll take a little bit longer than usual. But once the air is out, he detaches the pump and he has vacuum. He has a one-way valve at the end of the Tigon tubing, at the distal end of the end cap, or the end socket. Uh, that way it ensures that it won't lose um, suction. How does that feel, Peter? All right? Good, good. Feel getting tighter? Yes. And since Pete has such a long residual limb, it just takes a longer time. There we go. Detaches it. Turns the pump off. Now he has vacuum. Okay, now we're going to watch him walk outside. Okay. Okay, now let's just go up the ramp and down the ramp. How'd that feel, all right? Yeah. Okay. Exactly the first time I've done it without 
without using the rail. That's first time without the rail? Okay, just go one time with the rail. What I'd like to demonstrate is that compared to a single wall system, since this is a double wall system, his prosthesis will his prosthesis will not come off whatsoever. So Pete, if you could just hold on and just kick your leg back and forth. Okay. All right. So, in a single wall system in the past, it would hold on like that for quite some time and then after several weeks, the single wall system would end up losing vacuum suction and fall off but by having the double wall system, we're ensuring that the prosthesis stays on.